Manus, the Chinese AI autonomous agent is absolutely wild. I'm going to be showing you exactly how it works, some examples of what it can create, how powerful it is. And this is a new technology that's just come from China. It can control your browser. It can do research for you. It can actually see your screen. It can do Google searches. It can create code. It can deploy websites even. And it's actually outperforming OpenAI's deep research model on many of the main benchmarks. Now, I'm going to be covering examples of how to use it, plus even how to set up a version of this offline locally on your terminal i'll be running through the instructions and exactly how to set it up later in this video this is by far the closest thing i've seen to agi and i'll show you some examples but it can for example like control 50 different screens at a time there's videos of people driving teslas whilst the ai agent is briefing them for their next meeting i've never seen anything like it but we'll come on to that later let's go the chinese ai manus is taking over the internet it's pretty wild i mean here's a couple of examples you can see this ai agent can control browsers it can for example control like 50 different screens at a time it can even chat like you can see right here here's another example and so this is someone basically using uh tesla like you can see and then manus is prepping all the talking points so you've got tesla driving and then you also have Manus just doing all the uh, instructions for the meeting, etc. Now, if you want to get access, it's available at Manus.im. I'm also going to show you an open sourced version of this that's pretty interesting. This basically allows you to run Manus locally. And I'll be coming on to that in a minute, plus how I set up. All, all the details and all the links from today are inside the AI Profit Boardroom. If you just go to the S&P section and then Manus, you can see all the instructions for setting this up open source and everything else but yeah so here's an example of how it works so if we click on like deeply analyze tesla socks we can see a demo of how it works we'll play this right here and basically the prompt here is i'd like thorough analysis of tesla stock including a summary financial data market sentiment technical analysis value investor etc right and you can see here how on the right hand side it can just run commands he can open up browsers he actually has vision as well so it can actually like interact with with browsers and computer use and like scroll up and down the internet basically on its mission to to really look through the internet now the other thing that i've noticed is like compared to you know other models which i'll come on to later that are available for example like chat gpt operator chat gpt operator it costs 200 dollars a month and it can't even do half the stuff that this can. This can also create like files as well. And it can also deploy to the internet different URLs that it creates, which is pretty wild as well. And you see here some of the images that it's created, which is pretty cool. So you can like analyze and look at charts. And also if you want to skip through in the demos, like examples of what it looks like, etc., you can just click the forward arrows right here. And then once it's completed, you'll see an example like this. It's like, right, I've completed the market sentiment analysis for Tesla. Here's what I've noticed. So it's looks like Yahoo Finance research reports, insider trading activity, SEC filings, social media sentiment, and then it's come back like this. Plus, you can see all the files in the session. You can actually download these. So you can either preview it now or you can download them later, right? So if we click on preview here, we can preview the images that it's used inside the document. Pretty wild. And then you can see the full chat right here. So there's a bunch of different demos that you can test out, like you can see. And also when you're using this process, you can actually run this locally. So let me show you an example. Here's an example of me using Open Manus, which looks like an open source sort of recreated version of Manus. It just doesn't have the same UI, but it's running inside Terminal. Now, if you want to set that up, you can actually go to GitHub. Let me pull this up. It's inside the AI Profit Boardroom. If you want to join and get the instructions for setting up. But basically, you can go to Open Manus on GitHub. I would definitely install it inside a virtual environment. So I use Minicoder to set this up. If you want the instructions on how to do that inside the AI Profit. So just click on the setup instructions right there. And you'll learn how to set up. But basically, like you can see right here, you can basically do research just like Manus 
but it's hosted locally and it can still connect to the internet and everything else. It can still do, for example, like Google searches and you can open up the browser and also. So what you do is you create a new Conda environment, clone the repository, install the dependencies. Probably took me about 30 minutes to figure out, okay, how to set up, but you can just follow the instructions here. It'll save you a lot of time. And then I was wondering like whether this is legit or not, but it's got like 2,400 forks, 15,800 reviews, 155 people watching it. And it's created by these guys who are actually from Meta GPT's team, as you can see. So the, the problem with, for example, like trying to use Manus directly, if you go to get started here, is that if you want to start using it, you have to have an invitation code, right? And everyone's trying to get an invitation code right now. So it's very difficult to get access. Whereas if you set up locally, you can just get instant access today. You can also apply for access as well. I've tried a couple of times with a couple of different email addresses and not got access. And bear in mind, like I have a decent social media following in the same niche. So you'd think maybe they would want to give you early access, but not so far. And then if you try and sign in, it just, it just won't let you. So if we click on continue with Google, and try opening this up. Yeah, we can't get into it, right? There is also a Discord link inside the AI Profit Boardroom, but if you want to get access to the Discord, they do announce invitation codes like you can see right here. So they, they share about five invitation codes right here, but it's first come, first served, right? And there are literally thousands of people. There's like 7,000 people online just waiting for an invitation code. So... It's really, really difficult to get it. Whereas if you set this up locally using the GitHub, then you can just run this locally and, and get access that way. And it seems to be a lot easier. So for example, if we come onto the local version right here, what you can say, for example, let me pull this up. I'll, I'll grab a, an example prompt. Let's grab this. All right. So if we go back onto terminal here, we've got it running. So you've got Manus, open Manus running here. And I'm going to say inside the chat, let me zoom in for you there. We're going to say Manus, uh, create a seven day itinerary in Japan. All right. So we'll copy that in, paste that in. So create a seven day Tokyo itinerary with daily activities. And that's going to start running the request. Basically it just doesn't have the UI, but it's using the same process. So. You can see how it plans out the whole process. For example, and we'll say create a plan for visiting New York for seven days. And we can start planning out the process. There we go. All right. So now it's actually doing, I have to just close it and then reopen it. So you can see here how it's actually Googling, for example, and it's actually opened up this browser here as well. So you can actually like, for example, use google.com or Google flights or whatever, um, and start scanning through the internet which is pretty cool. And also the API that it's using when it's doing this whole process is a combination of Claude. So I've set Claude 3.5 Sonnet for vision and then for actually using the, the research and the planning and the, just the main LLM we've used uh, chat GPT, GPT 4.0, right? And you can see here how it's just going off researching flights, navigating, entering travel details, etc., right? And then it plans out the next steps for you. So it also gives you a update of the steps so far. So for example, it's on step eight out of 30 so far. And then you just get an update step by step. So if we scroll through the chat here, you can see how it's, how it's set up and diff use different things. And it's also got a bunch of tools built in. So for example, like browser use tool, that sort of thing. It's not as fast as the demos make it out to be, but this is the open source version, right? So it's not the, the main version of Manus and it will just go off and start doing its magic. So we'll wait for that to load in the background. In the meantime, we can have a look through a, a few more use cases and that sort of thing. And so for example, here we've got a WTF section. So for example, like brand identity design, let's pull up this demo right here. We'll see what we get back. And it seems to be able to run like terminal commands as well. So it can code, it can edit, it can use computer use. It can actually read pages live. And then it can also create files that you can download. So you can, for example, download that. And then if we open this up, we should have the folder. And then you can start using it. You can also preview the files here. And you can view all the files. 
directly. See all the documents, the images, the code files, and the links. Let's come back to terminal, see where we're at here. So it's now doing another Google search, looking through Skyscanner, coming up with a plan. Let's see what else we've got here. And this is on step 28 out of 30. So you can also do like audio engineering. Let's pull this up. So design sound effects that mixes birds chirping with stream sounds lasting around three seconds. Here's a bunch more examples, right? So this is a tweet by Min Choi. So you can, for example, like create an interactive website based on data insights. So it can actually like, for example, code the website, but then on top of that, like you can see, you can actually deploy it to the web. Let's see what else we got here. We got interactive gaming. Seem to have created like a role play simulation as President Zelensky. Some crazy stuff people are doing with this. Travel plan with maps. Website SEO optimization. So for example, you can like look at your website, give you some tips on how to improve. Plus, I, can, I guess it can read the HTML as well. Stock analysis, candidate interview schedules, B2B supplier sourcing. So there's a lot of use cases for this. It just looks a lot more freer than something like, for example, chat GPT operator. Let's test another prompt here. So I'm going to say plan out and find me some interesting things to do on the internet today. Plus do a stock analysis of Tesla. Let's try some of these prompts that we actually got online from the use cases. I think you might have to shut this down. So I'm going to press control and C and then we'll plug in the prompt again for running it on Python. So let's grab that over here, copy that command. And then from here, we are going to grab, let's have a look here. Here we go. Let's grab that. Yeah. So it looks like, so for example, it's open up the browser again there. So it looks like if you're running it locally, the best way to do that is just control and see, shut it down, then open it up again each time you want to run this. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to work properly. It just goes into like some weird planning mode. Let's try the potential customers one. So we're going to play this now, see what we get back. By the way, so when you're using the local version as well, you just want to make sure that you do have, for example, the API plugged in directly inside the .env, right? So just make sure you have Claw 3.5 Sonnet set up or even 3.7 Sonnet might be better. And then from there, add your OpenAI details as well. If you're wondering how to set that up, you can actually go inside Open Manus. So you just set up this config file and then you can choose your LLM configuration and also your LLM vision configuration like so. But yeah, it seems to be able to do like Google searches pretty easily and it can open up the browser as well, which is useful. The local version though, it's, it's just, I don't think I would use this normally, right? Like <laughs> it's nowhere near as good as for example, uh, using something like web browser UI or something like that. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend the local version. It's worth testing, just see what it's like. I don't know if I've set that up properly or not, but it looks pretty terrible if you ask me. So thanks so much for watching. If you want access to the whole process for setting this up locally, we've opened Manners. Feel free to get that, plus the Discord link and everything else. It's all inside the AI Profit Boardroom. Prices are going up very shortly, so make sure you join before you miss out and to lock in your legacy price. And also, if you want to save hundreds of hours and make more money with AI, this is the best place to do it. It comes with all my best automations like email and content, social media and video, AI agents, web automation and scraping. Plus, this gets updated every single day along with a crash course for saving hundreds of hours and some of my best automations. On top of that, there's a community of 289 members. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask inside the community and we'll be happy to help you. Link in the comments and description to that. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on Autopilot, feel free to get that. On this free link building acceleration session, you get a free SEO domination plan that's custom tailored to your business. So you can get more leads, sales, and profits and customers to your website. On top of that, you'll be able to ask us any questions. Now, normally this will cost thousands of dollars. You get it for free on this one-to-one -one call and you'll learn how to increase your SEO traffic so you can scale your business.
based on what's working for us and our happy clients, like you can see right here. Link in the comments and description to that. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.